The PA test is the most common way to quickly and qualitatively assay large volumes of water. In this particular example, we're using Laramie River water. And to begin with, we'll simply pour 100 milliliters of your water sample into a sterile graduated cylinder. We always measure water per 100 milliliters, and that's how we quantitate the number of coliforms. Once you have accurately measured 100 mils of your water sample, you're going to pour this into the PA broth. Our PA broth in this experiment is a little bit special because we've added mug to it. Methyl umbelliferol beta d glucuronide or MUG, is going to further allow us to look for the presence of fluorescent bacteria, such as E. coli, that are able to convert MUG to a fluorescent compound that we'll be able to see under the UV light. So simply pour your water sample into the PA broth and, replacing the lid, give it a little bit of a mix. We'll then open the lid just enough to allow gases to escape and we'll incubate this at 37 degrees for 24 to 48 hours.